Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today we have an unboxing and overview and some benchmarks of this new video card from MSI. This is the MSI GeForce GTX 650 Ti Power Edition. Now the 650 Ti is the new GPU from NVIDIA. It slots in right between the 650 and the 660, uh, but it does use the GK106 GPU, so it's the same GPU as the 660 versus the GK107 that's used in the GTX 650. Now, this is an overclocked edition of this video card, which means that it's running at 993 megahertz versus the 925 megahertz stock speed. You have the Cyclone 2 thermal design for the cooler. It comes with a one gigabyte GDDR5 frame buffer, PCI Express 3.0 compatible, of course, DirectX 11 support. You get a three year warranty from MSI. Flipping around to the back here, we have some detailed specs down here. So for all the features that are supported right there, a lot of the 600 series stuff that comes along with the Kepler architecture, such as TXAA, FXAA, Adaptive VSync, all included here. And uh, next up, let's take a look in the box. Taking a look inside the box, we have a few accessories. We have, of course, the video card itself, which I'll be showing lastly. We also have a little power adapter here. You do need a six pin PCI Express power connector for this video card. Uh, if you don't have one of those available on your power supply, you can use a couple Molex plugs to convert that to the six pin and get yourself up and running. Also inside we have, oh, this is handy, a mini HDMI, which is the smaller, flatter HDMI plug to standard size HDMI adapter, and it's one of the little angled ones, so it doesn't really take up that much space behind your computer, which is very nice. We also have the DVI to VGA adapter that is included with just about every single video card that I've ever unboxed. We also have a quick user's guide, so if you're not familiar with how to install a video card, you can check that out, or you can check out our How to Build a Computer video on Newegg TV. And then we have a more specific uh, GTX 650 Ti Power Edition getting started menu, sort of pointing out the different things about it, like the different types of memory that are used and where they are and the layout of the card and again some installation instructions. Finally, of course, we have our 650 Ti installation disk with drivers. Chances are there are updated drivers available from NVIDIA or MSI, so check out those websites rather than, ins rather than installing off of this disk, although this also does include the Afterburner software overclocking utility. Again, there's probably an updated version available from MSI. Next, we're taking a closer look at the video card itself. I'm starting off with a measurement here. As you can see, it's uh, right about nine and one eighth inch, I'm gonna say, long. Uh, give yourself, I would say, at least nine and a half to 10 inches of space in your case because the PCI Express plug is pointing out that way, which means you're gonna need a little bit of extra space for the cable to pop out. But uh, of course, the first thing that you will notice on this video card is the Cyclone 2 cooler. So what they essentially have is a couple heat pipes extending from the central aluminum fin cooler at the center there. They're running down and uh, going right next to the GPU. Those are going to disperse some heat out to these two outer banks of fins or underneath the Cyclone 2 and N5, N650 GTX Ti logos right there. So I'll provide some extra heat dissipation out that way and then everything else is going to be taken care of by that central radial fin array in the center. Uh, I also of course have a fan right there and uh, I'm always curious what size these fans are and sometimes it's hard to tell by looking so I'm going to give a quick measurement. What is it? 85 millimeter. That's an 85 millimeter fan at the center. It does have the MSI dust removal technology which means that the fan will spin backwards uh, right when you start the system up and that will uh, remove some of the dust from the fan blade, so it's a cool feature. As you can see, uh, MSI has gone with a custom design PCB for this card, uh, which is actually a bit longer than the uh, typical P PCB for the 650 Ti, but your GPU is located right underneath there. The cooler is held on with four uh, Phillips head screws. They're spring-loaded, so you can pop that off if you need to clean it or if you want to go with a different cooling solution. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see your PCI Express Gen 3 connector. And again, compatible with PCI Express Gen 3, also backwards compatible, of course, with PCI Express Gen 2 or 2.1. You get a bandwidth increase and a bit more efficiency with Gen 3, but it's really not going to give much of a boost to your overall card's performance. So don't worry if you're running with an older motherboard. You can upgrade to this card and uh, you'll still get plenty of performance. Here's your power connector. Again, it's a six pin PCI Express. Uh, MSI is recommending a 400 watt power supply at minimum for this card in your entire system. So bear that in mind, especially if you're going to use that adapter if your power supply does not come with the six pin PCI Express adapter. 
Apart from that, the PCB itself is brown. It should uh, match with most computer case designs. This is sort of another look at the front and back. A little closer look at the heat fin array from all sides. And then finally, we'll end off with our connectors here at the back. They have protective covers on them, which I'm going to pop off so you guys can get a closer look. Uh, you can support three concurrent displays from this single video card, so you can actively have monitors connected to all three of these. It does also support NVIDIA surround if you want to go uh, with uh, gaming on three monitors. you got two dual-link DVI connectors right there, so those can support resolutions up to 2560 by 1600. Bear in mind that this one here has your analog connectors, so if you are going to use that DVI to VGA adapter, use it with this plug. This is a digital-only connector, so it won't work with that adapter. Finally, you have the mini HDMI plug right there, and again, comes with that adapter, so you can easily convert that to a standard HDMI plug. Next up, we're going to take a look at some benchmarks. I also wanted to point out a few more specs of this card. Uh, for the memory in particular, uh, I mentioned it's 1,024 megabytes. That is GDDR5 memory. It runs at 1,350 megahertz. That's a 128-bit bus, and that gives you an effective uh, memory bandwidth of 5,400 megahertz. Also, I'm, I said bandwidth. The bandwidth is actually 86.4 gigabytes per second. Also, the uh, GPU is previously mentioned. It's overclocked from uh, MSI, so it runs at 993 megahertz. Bear in mind, uh, boost clock is disabled for the 650 Ti, so it's going to run stable at 993 megahertz all the time. And then uh, in the GPU, you have four SMX units. That's one of the differences from the uh, 660, uh, that's 64 texture units and 768 CUDA cores. So there are your benchmarks. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit better idea of this card's performance. I should mention the benchmarks were handled by Kyle this time around, so he did a great job. Also, uh, I wanted to point out this card is intended by NVIDIA to hit a segment of gamers that are going to probably be gaming at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. So this card has been uh, somewhat optimized for that. So 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1200. Our benchmarks were primarily run at 1920 by 1080. But bear in mind, if you are using a lower resolution monitor uh, than that, if you haven't upgraded to 1920 by 1080 yet, you're probably going to get even better performance than you saw in our benchmarks. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the MSI GeForce GTX 650 Ti Power Edition. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. And if you enjoyed today's video, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos, and we'll see you next time on Newegg TV.